Good morning, everyone. In 2013, a young girl from China stepped into a totally new country, which is USA, for the first time. She was so exciting and scary when she saw all the foreigners around her. At that moment, she wants to have some hot water to drink, but she cannot find, find it in the airport anywhere. Then she realized that she encountered the culture shock. In the following first days, she met several more difficulties in her life, such as how to greet to others, how to buy a laptop from Best Buy. That young girl was me. However, after the classes began, there are more difficulties appeared in my school life. For example, every instructor will send the syllabus in the beginning of every semester and go over it with us in the first class. And all the homeworks and projects will post on Blackboard, which is a internet software for teaching, and we can check our grade on it anytime. In some other courses, the professor will ask us to create a website by ourselves on the topic we're interested in. And also we can share our projects and homework to, to the instructors and classmates through internet and get feedback easily. All of these are totally new for me. And I feel so hard to catch up with, with the professors and classmates. But gradually, I start to use to this kind of digital learning style. And then I felt I got a lot of benefits from this kind of learning style. Then I realized the, the digital learning can, uh, can motivate students to learn by uh, various learning styles. For example, students can learn by playing games or they can do collaborative writing with another student, even overseas, through internet. Moreover, students can uh, own their unique products, such as they can make a website by themselves. And through internet, they can share their products to the instructors and, uh, and classmates easily and get the feedback timely. In this way, students can learn more efficiently by rapid feedback from digital assessment. After all of these practices, students will be ready for the future technology skill jobs. As an education major student, and after experience all of this, I really want to bring this uh, new digital learning style back to China. However, there are a lot of challenges. First of all, the huge input need be offered for the digital learning. For example, buying the di digital devices and uh, offer the technology support. In addition, the policy change is the greatest challenge. It's required all the leaders, teachers, students and parents to make changes and accept the changes. For how to face all of these challenges, efforts made by all different parts are required. For governments, they, they need to uh, issue some new policy to encourage schools to develop the digital learnings. And for schools, they need to accept this new concept and try to train their teachers for digital teaching. And for students, they need some time to get to know this new learning style and try to um, use to it and have fun with it. And teachers should update their knowledge and their teaching skills uh, along with the development of the new technology. I'm really looking forward to see the changes for the digital learning in Chinese education system. And I hope I can do something for it after I graduate from the education department of NC State. Thank you.